hard. Oh, my booty can! Ow! A couple decades ago, having an anime license was a liability more than a boon. Just watch Kevin's review of Dragon Power, a Dragon Ball game that had all of its Dragon Ball-ness stripped away. Heck, the first Ranma fighting game for the Super NES hit U.S. shores as street combat, keeping the basic brawling mechanics, but replacing all the characters with more quote-unquote suitable robotic masculine western fighters. This isn't street combat, though. This is Ranma 1 half hard battle, a rare case of the cart coming long, long before the horse. By this game's release in late 1993, Viz had only published a couple comic books worth of the manga here in the States. The actual anime wouldn't see US shelves for another year, and even then in the form of exorbitantly priced monolingual VHS tapes. So it's a bit shocking that this game would keep the anime license going against its own precedent. For those unfamiliar with the series, avoid water. Depending on who gets splashed, they may swap genders or turn into a pig or a duck or a cat or whatever the heck pantyhose is. So what do they do? They fight. They fight, they fight, and fight, and fight. Hey, it's anime in the early 90s. That's pretty much the modus operandi for all of them. Anyway, between the fighting, there's some romance and character development, but this is a 2D fighting game, so stuff it. Combat. A cast of 10 make up the game's roster. Make that 12. Make that 13 if you've got the right cheat code. Yes, that's a panda. Yes, that girl's wielding a spatula. Those are candles strapped to that guy's head. Yes, that's a duck-shaped training potty he just pulled out of his robe. It may seem absurd, but it's right in line with the seven seasons of anime and 30-some volumes of manga which predated it. It's the kind of downright strangeness which seems downright strange to keep in a U.S. release. But, for some reason, they did. The standard battle mode, like pretty much every standard battle mode in 2D fighters of the 16-bit era, pits your chosen combatant against a lineup of challengers in pursuit of, well, depending on the character, it could be happiness or a cheap way out of exams this semester. This particular competition is run by Principal Kuno, who's usually up to some plot or another, when he's not mandating or inflicting haircuts. I wish I were kidding. The controls are, well, painfully basic. You've got light and strong attacks and a button to jump. That's it. The A button does absolutely nothing. Light, strong, jump, and the D-pad to move. Still, despite the stripped down implementation, there are some shiny special attacks to pull off. Damn near every character has some variation on a hundred hand slap, for better or for worse. Though throws seem inordinately powerful in this game, those with a head for timing or pure button-mashing luck, can land on their feet and minimize damage. It's an odd step ahead of the game, but too little too late in the face of its sizable competition in the fighting game realm. It may not be the best 2D fighter. Heck, it's barely passable. But it does stick out as one of the earliest examples of an anime-related game keeping true to its roots, even if no one in the country at that time, outside of rec.arts.anime, knew what the hell was going on. 